This is weird shit. You know what I'm saying? That's not no bitch I want to be with, bro. That's not no loyal ass bitch, nigga. Fuck is y'all talking about? So don't be on my Instagram talking about get back with such and such and do this for such and such. Y'all was so such and such together. Y'all don't know what the fuck we was. Because I don't show my relationships on Instagram like that. Besides the fact we take good ass pictures together. All we did was look good together. Y'all don't know what the fuck we went through or what the fuck we was going through, nigga. Don't judge me. <laughs> that shit weird as fuck to me. Don't judge me about that type of shit. I personally... Just wanted to let y'all know, that's how I felt. Clear up the air. Like, at the end of the day, I'm going to fuck with who I want to. Feel me? I'm not the one on Instagram going to the club, chilling with a bunch of niggas, posting my ass and my dick and all type of weird ass. I'm not doing that. Feel me? But I will post a bitch I'm talking to to get back at you. Because I'm petty. And she made me that way. I didn't make myself petty. I was never petty. But I never really had a girlfriend like that that I gave a fuck about. You know what I'm saying? So, she made me petty. Oh, well. I'm a petty ass bitch. I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, I won't be disrespected, though. And I won't be looked at like no fucking clown. So, just know, the bitch hit the curb with nothing. She couldn't have what I gave her. $40,000 a clothes. Back at my crib, not in yours. So, I just want to make sure y'all know that. You know, she wasn't good for me. She was the devil. My mama ain't like her. My cousins don't like her. Everybody hated her because all she did was hate on me. All she did was hate on me, bro. When she hit me up, she hit me up about some music shit. And then we ended up fucking with each other. So, that to me is a clout demon. I don't care what nobody say. That's a clout demon. Because all you did was sit in the background and look sad and mad. And you got $40,000 worth of clothes and expensive ass purses. And you going to this and that place. And you was in Brooklyn with nobody. You was in Brooklyn with nobody. You stand with a nigga. Your parents ain't give a fuck about you. Your brother ain't give a fuck about you. Now all of a sudden that you got some clout, everybody give a fuck about you. Stop looking at me like I'm the vic like I'm the bad guy and she the victim. She's not no victim, bro. She know what she did. She know what she was about. Come on now. I ain't gonna keep going about it though. <laughs> Jacob talking about he going in on mama, nigga. The fuck is y'all talking about? I'm not pressed for no bitch. I'm trippy red. I can have a lot of bitches. But that's not the point. Not even bitches. Excuse my language. Females, ladies. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of ladies that love me, that like me. I never talked to them because of her ass. Even when I tried to work with female artists, it was impossible. She wanted to fight them. She wanted to talk shit to them. It is, I could never be about my business with her. It was always just her. That's some evil shit, bro. And then when it, when it came to me and my career, she didn't give a fuck about it. So, just making, it made no sense to me. It made no sense to be with her. And the only reason why I got on here and talked about this shit is because now she's going on rants and posting her body and doing all type of weird shit. I'm going to just let that be known so people know. Like, it was an ongoing problem. It wasn't just out of nowhere I broke up with her. It was an ongoing problem that we talked about so many